Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and I wanted to give you a quick video tour of our day trading add-on suite for the NinjaTrader NT8 platform. Now this is an add-on to our main Elliott Wave Indicator suite as in extra and really designed for those day traders of stocks, futures and forex in mind there. So it builds on our already extensive Elliott Wave Indicator suite but gives you some extra tools for day trading. And let's talk through those tools right now. So this is a, a chart for Apple on the five minute. First of all, we look at some key levels here. We look at the prior day's high, the estimated move high, the prior day's close, the prior day's low, and the estimated move low. We also have our W5T EMA cloud, specifically designed to help us day trade those third waves and those fifth wave moves. Uh, helps us identify uh, entry strategies for uh, fifth wave moves for example now we can see on this wave four we are live with apple right now it's pulled back into the green zone on our Elliott wave indicator suite but it's come back above the cloud we need it to come below and close below the cloud we've also got our mtf dot cloud this is our multiple time frame dot cloud so this shows us where our price action is on the on apple on multiple time frames so we don't need lots of charts to see where we are in regards to our w5 tma cloud the top row is the current chart that we're on so the five minute chart if you like now the next row down is the 15 minute then the 30 then the 60 and then our key time frame the daily time frame so as you can see right now we're yellow so we are in the dot cloud in the w5 ta W5T EMA cloud on the five minute. So we're yellow, but we're coming back down. We were green. So this, this shows the pullback against our main trend where we go above the cloud. Now we're back in the cloud. Now we want to go all red to go short again. In this case, right at the top left here, we gap down on this day. We had the wave one and the wave two found resistance up in the W5T EMA cloud and that's what it's designed for. You can see on the dot cloud there, we pulled back <coughs> quite considerably against our main trend. So we've got some quite yellow and green dots there, but we start to come down. We start to build the five and the 15 on the red here. And then further on, we get our first signal on that day. Well, first triangle here, when that candle closes, we are good to go. Our multiple time frame stochastic, which is another addition to this um, day trading add on, we have our normal stochastic plus our multiple time frame stochastic. So we've had the down arrow uh, on both the normal and the multiple time frame, and now we've got false breakouts on the bottom in cyan for the multiple time frame and in yellow for our normal one. So again, very strong bearish momentum here. We've got the first triangle. This is our short entry. We go short on Apple here around about 180.05. And as you can see for the rest of the day, we just continue to go down. And then when we pulled back, we found resistance at the cloud again and bounced back off again. So overall, we closed around about 176. That's a four dollar move for the day. That's not a bad move on Apple there. Uh, we can also see right now uh, we have pulled back after this gap down today, been pretty rangy, but we've pulled back up. We found support. Now we've got to confirm this fifth wave move. We've got to get back below the cloud if we're going to go short here. So that gives you that extra balance. Now, also, let's have a look at the futures. Let's look at ES. Now, we use, we've got three main strategies with this day trading add-on suite, and they're covered in the training bootcamp. This particular strategy, we're coming from the highs down below the cloud. Then we need to see it test and all of our dots go red, which you can see right here. And previous to that, coming through the cloud, we've got the down arrows down here on our multiple time frame stochastic. That shows we've got good bearish momentum going through the cloud. We come down below slightly. We test it where all the dots are red for our bearish move. And then we go short just below here. And this is a 40 tick move. Pretty typical of this type of uh, strategy on our um, multiple time frame strategy. Then we get another chance. We go range bound really, and, and it hugs the cloud. Then we get a big move down after our MTF dot cloud shows here where the cursor is. 
a little pullback so we go green so we go slightly above the cloud on the 5 and the 15 then we start to pull back and then we go red again so we don't go red straight away remember it has to come down come back to test the cloud which it did when she starts to move down again we get small little pullbacks we get the little yellow dots but the main thing is we get below this pivot and that's our short so the shorts at uh, 264325 and those lows are there 2623 something like that so that's an 80 tick move right there so really really good little move there uh, so two trades on es during this particular day again they're not necessarily elliott wave moves uh, because sometimes we are not in a trend and we go sideways but we get those breakouts and this um, day trading add-on suite is great for spotting those for, during a corrective phase wave threes and, and fifth wave moves on stocks forex and futures and this is for day trading so on the one minute the two minute the five minute the three minute the, all the way up to 15 minute this would be really really accurate and a good accompaniment to our main Elliott wave indicator suite